In this video, I will be showing how you can plot predicted probabilities and also compute predicted probabilities um, in a simple logistic regression model. Um, so first off, I have ran a simple logistic regression model. And the first thing I'm going to do once I run this model is I'm going to extract my two estimates. So here the intercept and the slope. So I'm double clicking here on this uh, parameter estimates table. And I'm going to double click here on the intercept I'm going to copy this intercept right here, paste it here. Now I'm going to double click on the slope or edge and paste it here. You see I've prepared uh, my spreadsheet with here the value for the intercept, the value for edge. Um, that's it for SPSS. I don't need it anymore over here. Okay, then what I'm going to be uh, doing is I'm actually um, going to be computed, uh, computing, sorry, my predicted log odds. So first off, what I've done um, previously is I've actually uh, prepared my spreadsheet with a uh, possible or realistic uh, values of age. So here I've just uh, add, created age, ages from zero to um, 100 over here. And so uh, this is essentially going to be my x axis for uh, the plot and I'm going to compute predicted uh, log odds for it. And, uh, and from this uh, predicted probabilities. Um, so um, first off, um, I'm going to predict my log odds by using simply the linear model. And so uh, the linear model here is going to be computed this way, I'm going to click on equal, um, I'm going to click on intercept plus the slope for age times age. Click on enter. So I have a prediction for my log odds. Unfortunately, if I scroll, if I increment down here, I'll have issues because it tries to uh, take these values which are empty. So what I will do instead is to prevent this from happening by adding a dollar sign here before the two of A2 and before um, um, this right here, so before the two of B2. But of course, don't do that for C2 because we want the H to change. Um, so right here, I'm gonna click on enter. So this value doesn't change, but now if I increment down, um, I have um, I have predictions here. Uh, I can double click, in fact, here rather than increment manually. This will actually fill in the values here for my predicted log odds. You might want to use that to test the assumption of linearity, but most of the time what we would uh, do here is um, plot the predicted probabilities instead. So in order to turn log odds into predicted probabilities, what we need to apply, the function we need to apply is the logistic function, which is in fact the inverse of the log odds function. So I'm going to click on equal here, and I'm going to apply this uh, formula, which I've added here for convenience. Uh, so it's one over, so the denominator is more complex, it's one, oops, sorry, okay, so it's one over one plus the exponential of minus the log odds. Right here. Okay, and so since this only uses these values, I don't need to add any dollar sign here. I'm just going to double click. And now I have my predicted probabilities for each age. So then if I want to plot uh, predicted probabilities as a function of age, what I could do is select my two columns. So I'm going to select C, this column here with age, and E. So I'm pressing uh, the command, um, the command uh, button. So H here, command key, H here and predicted probabilities. I'm selecting both and I'm going to click on insert. And here I can add, I will add a scatter plot. So if I want each prediction separately, I could use the dots here, or I could just use here smooth lines instead. So I'm going to click on smooth lines here. Okay, so that's it. So of course I can further customize this plot, uh, but here essentially I have my predicted probabilities on the y-axis as a function of 
age on the x-axis. We don't see it so well. We don't see the, the logistic shape showing so well because we're sort of zoomed in uh, on, on the logistic function over here. Uh, but of course, if we looked at values uh, way beyond 0 and 100, we might see the logistic shape a little bit uh, better. We would see it. Um, so that's it for this uh, video and thank you for watching.